Oh my gosh, you went live so fast. So I was like, like we gotta go live. <laughs> it takes like a minute or two. Uh, not this time. I had a yeah, whole sweater and I totally forgot to put it on. Give me a minute. Oh, I know. Well, my other, my ugly Christmas sweater, one is too big. It might actually fit me perfect now because of my baby bump, but. Your belly. My one is not going to fit. I'm just like, well, <laughs> the red shirt it is. And, and this is what I wore to work because I literally just got home like 15 minutes ago. So, <laughs> but um, hello, hello, everyone. Uh, Who picked this book club here uh, with our last live stream of the year. Oh, uh, craziness. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, we were talking about The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe. Please. Thank you. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. It's so good. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, I loved it so much. I want to. I want to get a physical copy so bad. I. It was so freaking cute. I loved it. Okay, so grumpy sunshine trope. Um, sh they uh, they work at a bookstore. Uh, it's Christmas time. Like, what else can you freaking want? <laughs> Honestly. And then they bond over the love of Jane Austen. Like, oh, I know. Why not? Like, <laughs> I was like, where is this guy in real life, please? It was also kind of like an epistolary uh, romance novel as well because mm -hmm. they were exchanging those emails or IMs or whatever the fuck. Um, spoiler. Reddit, Reddit things. Reddit. Yeah, yeah. I don't so, know what they're called, but Reddit bubbles. Threads, bubbles. <laughs> messages. Maybe I don't really use Reddit, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, Jonathan who um, doesn't like Christmas at all. Hey. And hello, cool Hi. guy. <laughs> Somehow you're always here. Always. And you changed your avatar. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay. Main, male main character. His name is Jonathan. Um, he doesn't like Christmas at all. He doesn't like the whole consumerism aspect of it. Um, and then we have, oh, my God. What is her name? Why am I blanking on her Gabriella. name? Gabriella. Gabriella. Oh, my God. Um, she loves everything to do with Christmas. And um, down to the peppermint. Um, hot cocoa she drinks there. He calls peppermint chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah. Which is not, Same thing. Depending on how it's made, it can be chocolate milk. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't wrong, but He's also wrong. I think he did it to push her buttons, and I loved it so much. <laughs> He's like, every time he gave it to her, he's like, here's your chocolate milk. <laughs> but the fact that his last name was Frost was even funnier. Yeah. I oh love my God. that. Mr. Frost. He she called him Mr. Frost all the time, and it was hilarious. I um, like. I don't know what it was when they used their like last name. When he was like Miss D. I can never say her last name, but when he said her name, and then she was like Mr. Frost, I was like, oh, you I don't know just name already. So, I don't know why that's so attractive. Like, why is that a thing? Like, I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I find it attractive too. So I don't know what, what that says about me, but it was just. I loved it. I ate it right up. Oh yeah, like cookie and, Christmas oh, also, cookies. Thank you. Also, um, yes, Grumpy Sunshine, but also Enemies to Lovers. Um, yeah, which I love that trope. And yep. so uh, they work in a bookstore, uh, independent bookstore, and competition comes up across the way. Hey, Hi Pat. Pat. Hey Pat, can you do me a favor and um, like DM me, find me on like a social media, whether it be Twitter or um, Instagram, and if you're comfortable. Send me your address. And if you're comfortable, I would like to send you a holiday card. Thank you. I was trying to find you on another platform other than the YouTube. <laughs> I was trying. I was literally trying to find you. I was like, wait. I think she's on Twitter. Think. Are you on? Okay. If you're, if you're on Twitter, DM me on Twitter. And please send me your address. If you're comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hi Liz. <laughs> Hi. Maybe want to drink peppermint hot chocolate milk. It did. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did. So oh dang it! We had can an you, email. Oh yeah, can you email me? The what one thing I liked, and it was like a little throwaway line, but I felt it so hard when she was like, "Well, the reason you have GERD is you eat tomatoes all the time," and she goes, "I'm Italian. I'm There's Italian. no avoiding it." I was like, <laughs> "I feel that so hard in my soul." Like. <laughs> I'm Italian. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> but she, she's kind of right because tomatoes are in literally everything. Yeah, in like every kind of base, like sauce. I mean, Alfredo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate to oh, say no. it, but I didn't like the book. Um, that's oh, okay. okay. Everyone has their different opinions. <laughs> 
I just didn't like that they called Sorry, this Cinderella because it felt really like. I mean, don't get me wrong; it was short, but like the it short. felt long. They did, or was it just me? No, I. No. There were a couple times when I was expecting it to be like a shorter chapter, and I was just like, "How many pages left do I have to go?" And I'm like, "A whole book." The and one I go, chapter okay. is like twenty two pages. I'm like, "This is a novella. What the heck?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was too distracting. In mm-hmm. what way? Say more on that. I did stop at the beginning of every chapter to listen to the holiday song because there's a bunch of I didn't know. The playlist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I don't know. Like for me, maybe it was because I did that and I stopped and start. And normally I would just like keep going, but it felt like yeah. it lasted so much longer than it but probably I loved it. did. I loved yeah. it. I definitely want to read more from her. I did yeah. like the fact some of the playlist ones though, like you would listen to it or I, I mean, again, I did. And then I kind of got like an essence of how I would feel like there was a song and I'm like, oh my God, they are going to be like back and forth in this one. Like I am ready for it. Like I'm amped up. Like let's do this. The song, the song like prepared you what was going to happen <laughs> yes. in, in the chapter. Yeah. And I, I love really that they constantly that brought back Ella Fitzgerald because that's the music I grew up on from my grandparents. Could be could the liking someone being called Mr. So and so be our societal memory of Mr. Bond and Regency romances? Probably. Yes. Yes. hundred yeah, percent. Because pro- at the same well, time when he took her out of the car and he touched her wrist, I was like, Oh my god, he touched her wrist. Alert the authorities, I everybody. I can go from <laughs> that to like smut on page two. Like I don't yeah. like I don't it's know how one ex- my it's brain one hurt. extreme. It's one extreme or the other. Like yeah, I want exactly. them banging by page two, or I want them to not touch each other at all, unless it's just their wrist. And then do <laughs> yes. the like the hand flex. <laughs> yeah. It had lines from "You Got Mail." Okay, it's been forever since I, I got seen yeah, it. So I got mail. Hating game vibes. Like I, as soon as they were like, "Okay, well, it's gonna be you or me." I don't know if you ever read the the Hating Game. I saw the movie and I've, read the book. Both of them. I were didn't great. like the Hating Game. Oh Did man, I but like as soon I don't even know. I don't think you it's have an, Nicole. it's older, it's like from 2012. Yeah, but as soon as they were like, okay, well, one of us is gonna get the job and the other will have to go, I immediately started thinking of the hating game. Oh, and no, then I, I immediately haven't. just pictured those two characters in these roles now. So I I totally get that. Yeah. I have not read the hating game, and um the only you got mail line that I even caught was I wanted it to be you so badly, which I was like, I did too, but I'm I know. Gonna... <laughs> she was like the last to know. I was like, you poor thing. <laughs> How did she not know? As soon as he let drop, like, hopefully Mr. Reddit is worth it. I was like, do you know what you just said? You said the thing. It. You said I knew the it. thing. I knew it before that. I knew it before that. <laughs> I did too. Oh, obviously, but I how did, did she not pick it up in that moment? <laughs> she she had to sleep on it, and then she had to think, and then she was like, "Oh my god, two yes. days, two days." <laughs> but I get the I get the feeling of like listening to a romance novel and then just having weird thoughts. I understand that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I get that. Honestly, her version of him in the Regency romance, I was just like, can we get the book for that? Because yeah, uh, as soon as please, she started talking dream. about him and his britches, I was like, yes, please. Her wet Tell dream me after reading like the romance. And she's like, I can't read a romance tonight because I can't afford to have wet dreams. <laughs> I, was I like how she was like, I can't look at him now. Like, I'm going to, it's going to be right all over my face. I'm like, that's me. My face says it before my mouth does. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Oh man. Um, g- getting back to this comment here, the mistletoe yeah, wasn't motive no wasn't its own book. Honestly, you know, it's like that's fair. That's that's fair. Yeah, I guess yeah. you know when you read enough romances, um, They're you see, yeah, you see, <laughs> same obviously same tropes, but also like same kind of plot. I would say. I guess I just um, love. I loved you got mail as a kid, so like this was like my type of like. I don't think I've ever seen right. you got mail. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. It's literally it just like up pretty well. it's like literally literally competition bookstores, so I can I can see that. If you, have, <laughs> so. if you have Amazon Prime, it's on Amazon Prime for free. Oh, I might have to watch that tonight now. Tom Hanks. Yeah, so when you're like the lines from there, I go, I didn't see that one. There's a lot of movies now, as a film student. Once you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Yeah. And it's directed <laughs> by Nora Ephron, who has a as a journalism major, was my goddess. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's a lot of things um, that it just had a lot of tropes that I absolutely adore. 
which you know, grumpy sunshine enemies to but lovers. But they weren't overdone either. Like they didn't no. drag. Too much. And I feel like yeah, this was a slow burn, but this was a short enough book where it didn't feel like a slow burn, and there was yeah. still that tension between the two of them. And that and kiss she- after the hockey game. Oh my god! Can I just tell you? And I already told the Alicia comment. The comment the dad made. The dad's comment. Yeah, he was perfect. Where it's like, why do I love? books and the mom's just like because you're cold in there and the dad's like because there's hot perspiring men like <laughs> running on the skating on the rink and I'm like dad knows exactly where yeah. it's at but then <laughs> I don't know what it was about it but like I literally found him so much more attractive after I found him that he was a hockey player I was like yeah you you throw that guy into the wall you just nail him hard like be a gruff but then like that the teddy bear is <laughs> I love the that. man doesn't, honestly, like, when it comes to hockey, the man doesn't even have to be good looking. Like, just throw a man across the boards, and I know you'll be able to take care of me. <laughs> I love how I love how they were just like, the, like you look really familiar, and then it's like, like that movement looks really familiar, and it ends to be being Jonathan. I was like, oh my god, that's so funny. As soon as she recognized his shoulders, I was like, I will bet my life savings that that man right there is Jonathan Frost. <laughs> <laughs> But like I just I just love hockey romances in general. Oh yeah, there you go. You gotta read the fourth romance book club. I know also, everybody tells me that I love the Russian. Yeah, he's honestly <laughs> everybody the best. tells me. Anyways, <laughs> so um, this question oh, here. Speaking of reading more by an author, we are are we continuing with Kate Bateman, Ruthless Rivals? Book three comes out end of December. We also haven't read book two or three of Bow Street series. Thoughts for the future. So I've read book two of the Bow Streets, and I have book three behind me over here. Yeah, I have all three. I've only read um, book three. Um, um, it's, it's, always, it's always a can be a factor. Um, it, it's, it's, it's possible, yes. Do we know which books we're reading next year? No, we have not discussed. No. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't discussed like, yet. And with me having my baby in February, you're going to be seeing less of me. So um, <laughs> I was like, I'll happily, yeah. I would say if you're going to do, if you're going to hold off on anyone, hold off on the roof, Ruthless Rivals because I haven't read book two and three. And then okay. um, Alicia and I are going to kind of, Go to a separate channel so we don't ruin Nicole's. We don't ruin <laughs> we'll your, tag you your analytics or whatever. <laughs> um, we'll tag you in all the things. Uh, and I was and- like, you can use my channel because that's going to be the only traffic it's going to get. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something that I have lined up when we get off. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool, cool. But yeah, I have Ruthless Rivals. I have the next book. So I'm I'm ready for all of them. So, yes. Possibly. But there was one book that I wanted to run by you, Nicole, because I wanted to see if you wanted to do the second book for the Skin of the Sea, the Skin of the Sea series. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We did discuss that we wanted to do that one. Yeah. No time was said, but I remember I remember us talking about it a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that. I think at the very end of that live too, we're like, we got to read the second one. <laughs> I have it as a saved um, book, so if we do make that one of our reads, I have it ready to go as an audio book. <laughs> I think the cover's purple. And yes. it was a really pretty cover. I think just the covers are just gorgeous. Whoever whoever does her cover design is fantastic. Love fantastic. It. Fantastic. Like with Julie and we look for expect want parallels and callbacks. Yeah. Shrugs. Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I always like those little Easter eggs. Like anytime she mentions in any of her other books, like Jack and Lacey, I was just like, Kitty Couture. <laughs> even like just a brief mention where I think they even do it in the Bonnie, the Bonnie and Clyde series where she's yeah. just like, oh yeah, there's this little furry boutique called yes. Fair Godmother. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, oh, a couple oh, times. She got it in. She's not but I like when they, I like when they do it in like, Subtly enough that it doesn't affect someone who's that who's coming in and not being their first series. Of right. She doesn't like elaborate, you know, yeah. it's like where, you know, become actual like characters or whatever. Right. Right. The yeah. Woman... That bothered me that she didn't communicate. I wanted her so badly to be like, just explain it to him. Like, ugh. I know. That's but the, the one thing I hate about romance, not communicating. Yeah. <laughs> like the miscommunication or not communicating. That's a whole thing just on itself. But speaking of like autism, like she was on the autism spectrum. Um, she was also demisexual, so that's another. Um, I had to Google what that was. I really was not sure. 
Yeah. And then also he um, he has diabetes. So there's diabetes. That, yeah, there's that rep. I, well. I appreciated that because I kind of figured it out when uh, they were sitting in the car. Yes, the only reason I think the only reason I figured it out though is I have to take sometimes I have to help my grandmother with her yeah blood sugar and stuff. So I just, I, I was like ah. little little thing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, I do want to read more by this author because in her author's <laughs> note, she did mention um, that a lot of her books deal with some of those. Um, She's disabled as well. Yeah. Yeah. So like, she pulls on her, her experiences. And I think she knew someone who was type 1 diabetes. I was a friend. Yeah. Um, so she was able to kind of get that like real life aspect of it, which I feel like came across very well in the book. Um, yeah. And we'll definitely do more hockey romances. Yes, I'm up for hockey romances. Best sports romance book is Jock Row by Sarah Nate. Never heard of it. We'll look Never it up. Never heard of that, but I'll definitely be looking it up. I know we're like everyone like, gets out their phone, like look it up, put it on your oh. TBR. I, I write on sticky pink, <laughs> pink pen, pink post-it note. Maybe not. <laughs> Ooh, I like that cover. Yeah, let's let, we'll show the class. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Hello. I mean, I'm a sucker for a black and white photo, but then if you do like a single pop of color, I'm here for that. It's eye catching. It's eye catching. It. Um, Sarah. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, Thanks for the recommendation. Okay, so what else about this book did I like? Um, <laughs> yeah, all the, of it. I really the, feel like I was not cute as hell. Roommates, the I roommates love the were. roommates. I. Me and Alicia were talking about this before, but I really want a book from Eli and Luke's point of view. Like, I, those two sound so cute. And, like, Eli going, I know nothing about sports. I need you there to be able to explain things explain. to me. Like, I want to like that. And I'm like, I want someone to find something that I like to want to like it, too. Like, that yeah. would just be the perfect. perfect if, you need, if you need help explaining hockey, I'm your girl. I was raised around hockey, so. I can go I, watch it, and I listen to Joe as he talks about, like, sports stuff. Like, that's why I'm on a time constraint tonight, because we're going to the Suns game. And oh, I'm jealous! <laughs> oh. Also, he was literally, like, I came home, and he's like, I can't find anyone to go to the Suns game with me. And I was like, I'll go. <laughs> Do you want to go with him to the Suns game, Jen? <laughs> <laughs> we would have nothing to talk about. <laughs> you talk about the game. <laughs> good and i just I'm, like to watch I'm, it on TV. like i'm psycho i yell at, like and if i'm if i'm at a game i'm i'm very vocal when i'm at a game I when just, i was in college and i we just yell whenever joe yells like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> yay but i oh my gosh i thought it was so cute when he's like oh no why is he leaving the ice okay i didn't know that they had like 45 second like shifts but then when she was explaining they're not that, supposed go, to but yeah that makes so much sense. Like, yeah, because you're not supposed to. Like, I know they switch out people fairly fast, but I just, whenever I'm watching a game, everything is so fast paced while you're watching it. So I don't really think of the time that they're on the ice. And so he's like, good. I thought he was in trouble and he was in like a penalty. And I go, I know. I thought that was so, <laughs> so cute. cute. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. But you can oh. tell with, with that scene that she knows something about hockey which I appreciate because there's so, a lot of hockey romances that I've read and you can honestly tell that the person who's writing hockey romance don't know doesn't nothing. know what the hell don't know nothing. About. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's uh, you gotta do your if you're gonna write a romance about something you gotta know well, about it like, um, who, who were was that mama's boy it was um Avery Flynn oh, Avery yeah. Flynn I think yeah I, yeah, I was like she knows hockey because of the term she was using and where she was using it and icing. I was like, yes, thank God. <laughs> well, the amount of sports that we got in this book, that's how much sports yeah. I like in my sports romance. So yeah. it <laughs> but I like I like you to know what you're talking about though. Like I read a I read a football romance where the, where the writer didn't when know there, what was. when there's too much sports, I'm like, I don't care. I don't <laughs> care about the hockey part or the football part or the baseball part of this romance i do not care <laughs> so but okay so her other series uh book two has a hockey guy on the cover so it looks like that's yes! gonna be a hockey romance and and i did hear that like four of the guys in her other series they all have different disabilities like the one guy's deaf the one guy oh cool the has, is the one guy's in a wheelchair the one guy has like a, a um a prosthetic limb like she does yeah. a lot of representation with disabilities which i appreciate 
You can read more of her. Definitely read more. Um, yeah. The bookstore drama. And she's from the Philly. Weather. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So. The bookstore drama and the weather was romantic, cozy. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I love it. And the bookstore drama, hilarious. And <laughs> they kept like rearranging their <laughs> like the feature rear- table. <laughs> her feature <laughs> tables. And she was like, that bitch. <laughs> like she would say like a bad word or something. And it was so funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I thought that one scene where, like, he stops that douchebag ex-boyfriend of hers yes. after he grabs her. And I was like, I was waiting for it because I was like, they're going to kiss. They're going to yep. kiss. They're going to kiss. And then they freaking don't. I'm like, really? Why? Why? I wanted it so bad. They were under the mistletoe. Come I on. <laughs> it was practically there for you. <laughs> I was just, honestly, I was waiting for the scene that we got in the epilogue where, like, at one point they were going to get together and then just, like fuck it out all over the store like there's no oh, other way to say it they were just gonna bang on every surface and you, I was just like, there was so much sexual be in there was no way to get past that yeah oh, yeah absolutely not yeah oh. is, is that another hockey romance Kristen Kellen, See, i didn't I know i familiar. liked hockey until i started no, right, reading about the it the author's name sounds familiar yeah i yeah i mean yeah sure sports oh yeah. damn yeah. I, <laughs> hold on. Me, I gotta pull it up first. Like in that cover. Hello. What is it's book four? Of? I'm not sure what his tattoo is, but oh, well, <laughs> distraction. <laughs> There's a hockey romance. Christian Cal- Callahan. Christian Callahan. Christian Callahan. Christian Callahan. And John, and the man's naked on the cover, and the only thing covering is a hockey stick. Mm-hmm. Um, strategically placed, of course. Kristen, <laughs> of course. Oh, okay. So I have read something by Kristen Callahan. I have read "Managed" by Kristen Callahan. It's book two in the VIP series. I read this one. Ooh. So I'll check her out. Um, I like book two in this series. This one's called "Friend Zone." The game plan is good too. She said. She said. Ooh. Um, I like how I'm like trying to write them all. Like, Slow down, professor. <laughs> oh, yeah, professor. <laughs> oh, a year With ago. This guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, got yep, it. yep. Heard. Nicole, look up. I'm looking. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> um, Where are these men in real life? I want to know. They don't exist. I know. Oh, man. I wish neither they does it. Neither so does it. Neither does single men who like Jane Austen. That doesn't seem to exist either. Is when I watch like sexy firemen TikToks and then we actually had to call like the ambulance and first responders today at my job and I'm just like looking at them all coming in. I'm like, you ain't mm-hmm. fire. Those are my favorite <laughs> things to watch. I watch. I love the ones where they show them all coming in and you see the girl like pushing over the candle to set, set shit on fire. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm okay. I've seen those where they're all getting ready. Like, they're putting on, they're, like, hot as hell. Like, just the perfection of a firefighter. Like, beautiful. And you know I they're not the, real. There's a lady in this meme that lights a matcher and then holds up a tissue. And then an actual firefighter actual comes fire, on and is like, yes. don't do it. We don't look like this. He's like, real firefighters <laughs> do not look like this. <laughs> At least he's honest. At least he's honest. <laughs> I, I that saw that one too. I was thing. dying laughing. Wait, if they do look like that, it's very few and far between. Right. Oh, that's very true. So funny. So and funny. they're usually oh, so conceited because they know they're good looking that they're jerks. And that's why they make TikToks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Liz, we can make April. Is it? Oh, my God. Is it Liz? Why are I, Why am I second guessing all of a sudden names of yeah. people that have been here my bra- whole Because my brain is just. Liz, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. Liz. I don't know why. I think I called you Kim earlier, Liz, and that's what confused me. And and now I just feel like the world's worse. So super sorry. Um, I've stopped having caffeine after 12 because I haven't been sleeping great. So I have to like stop, like not even tea, like afternoon. It's if I'm having tea, it has to be like decaf or herbal tea. Like I can't, it's helping sleep at night, but at the same time, like I can't. I get to a certain point in the day and yeah. I'm on the struggle bus for sure. <laughs> the struggling. <laughs> oh, um, man. Okay. 
we're going to probably wrap this up in the next six minutes. So um, <laughs> okay. what else did we like about this book? Again, I listened to the audiobook, so I did How not... did you listen to the audiobook? Sorry, that was very loud. But also, I don't understand. I couldn't find the audiobook anywhere. I borrowed it from the library. Oh, not there was an 18-week wait on my library. Yeah. Yeah. It was like... I yeah. borrowed it back in like October and I just pulled oh kept pulled, pushing it. But kept pushing it, yeah. So kind of like I'm doing with the sequel, the skin of the sea, because I remember you guys say we gotta watch it or read this one. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, we should I should probably do that too. Get on that wish list and hope that one of us doesn't get it first. Um <laughs> yeah, no, I really like that one. There's something else that I really liked. It made me want dessert. Like they kept on talking about chocolate, and I was like, you're not you helping me. You made me want chocolate hard, and I love chocolate <laughs> on a good day, so it was just like, yes, I'm here <laughs> for it. I'm okay with wanting the desserts now, because until I get the results back of my glucose test, I'm going to pretend it didn't happen, and they're not <laughs> worried about my sugar, so I'm like, whatever, until you Have tell me. Have you done me. your second one? Yeah, I did it on Friday. Mm. And the I results aren't back? <laughs> no. They haven't called me yet. Huh. So until I hear with my own ears from my doctors that I have gestational diabetes. I'm just diabetes. saying that's a long, that's a long time. Yeah. Well, the that. first time, well, I, with my first one, I did it kind of around, um, I did it on the Friday before uh, Thanksgiving. So that week was short. So they didn't even call me until after the holiday. That makes sense. Oh. But I was only one point off. I don't think this one's going to be a problem. But. <sighs> I'm trying to like think back through like literally everything. I thought I had a lot that I wanted to say, but I, I love like, I love that, that her lot. her name was like it was like a play on Miss uh, Marianne Marianne uh, Dashwood on the message message board. It was like MCAT or something like that. Oh yeah, MCAT. Yes, he was. I like that her cat's name was Gingerbread, and that just before she went over for a sleepover to bang it out hard, she was hard. just like, "I'm gonna be back, but don't worry, I'll introduce him to you later." I was just like, "That sounds like something I would do <laughs> for your for your cats." <laughs> don't worry, Mom will be back soon. She'll bring you a dad too. <laughs> She'll bring you a cute little possibly cat question dad. mark. They did too. That sex scene was great. There needed to be more had, though, like a. There were so many scenes that I was like, come on, you're right there. Come I on. know. They were so, I when they right were there. in the car at one point, I wanted to, <laughs> oh my to God. Just hop across the seat and just she like kept straddle thinking him about so it. bad. She's like, she kept thinking about it. I'm like, then just do it. Yeah, she <laughs> kept thinking about it. And then she kept like readjusting herself. Yeah. I just, I don't know what it is when like, when the character themselves talk about like how uncomfortable they are and how they're like moving like all of a sudden I realize like I'm doing it too and I'm just like oh, oh no <laughs> why am I just moving <laughs> oh that's so funny they were just too cute yeah I think I'm gonna end up with this at a four probably yeah four sounds good Oh, I was going to give it a five. I was like, this thing was way too <laughs> fucking was so adorable. I, I had such a great time. I was like, yes. <laughs> so I was like, five stars. <laughs> Best thing I've ever read in my life. <laughs> I just, I don't normally get into holiday romances. And this one was just cute. And maybe it's because I did read The Hating Game earlier in the year. And I was just, I ate that shit up so hard. Um, so I was just like, yeah. I, like, I loved it. So good. And it was just, it's different. Because you really, we don't really get a lot of, novels with characters with any kind of disability or anything like that and so it was just it was kind of really refreshing because yeah. I had to google things I was like I don't know what this is mm -hmm. I'm very interested like it's the more you know type thing I I live in a shoebox under a tree that's out in the middle of the desert so I don't get a whole lot of like knowledge going so anytime I, I find something new I'm just that. like that's really that's the part that I'm struggling with with something I'm writing like I want to explain what the disability is but not make it clinical oh, and that's why yeah. I, i'm having a hard i'm you having a hard do time doing it you're kind you're of like an author's note on. a little bit yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean she didn't really go into too much details but like at, at the same time like i think this book did it really well like they explained it once what it was and if i had been paying attention well enough that probably would have been enough but it was the phrasing that i just didn't quite grasp it so i had to like i googled it in one of the first few um 
things had a better definition. And I was like, oh, that makes way more sense. And I could totally see that she was trying to explain it here. So if you yeah. have like a, a like a one shot getaway with it, and yeah. then at that point, if anyone wants to know, that's on them to do the research. Yeah. Because I could have just right. let it yeah, go. But absolutely. I was genuinely curious. I was like, what does this mean? Yeah. Tell me all the things. Google is <laughs> a free tool for people to use. Like, so if you do like the bare minimum, um, like explanation, you know, it's like, and if people are interested and they want to Google it, that's yeah. completely up to them. I can't wait to read yeah. Three yeah. Count by Nikki Castle. Nikki Castle. That's that. that name oh, sounds that, familiar I know too. that name sounds familiar too. Like, what the heck have I read by her? <laughs> Nikki Castle. I don't know. I don't. I haven't read anything by her. I was like, it sounds sure. You've made Maybe a lot I of good recommendations heard. based on what I've seen before. So <laughs> Nikki Castle. Um. No, I haven't. Uh, I'm trying to think of like major plot points. I did want him to kick that guy's ass though. The ex boyfriend. Oh, I know. That didn't happen. I was. Well, she kind of like handed, like she did, like she she was she like, handled I don't, it well, but it was just like yeah, she's like I don't want to contact you, like you haven't heard from me because I blocked all of your numbers. Like stop yeah. trying, like how many numbers do you have? First of all, sir, I think weirdo. it was six that she blocked. Yeah, she, she blocked, blocked and she's like, I'm not responding to anything because I don't want to be with you. Like yeah. Get the- and I don't like it with, in people with people in relationships that like if someone tells you I don't like that name please don't call me that and they keep on oh, doing I it and just gas crap out of me I was like Stop it. as soon as he said that like, too I was even, just like, like that's not her nickname if you don't even like respect someone enough to call them by a name that they prefer like that's yeah. red flag number five hundred and seventy two yeah. Yeah, the second one was the scent thing. Oh my god! At the very end, when he was like, "Yeah, I noticed that when you were having problems with my cologne, I switched to like this unscented soap." I was just like, <laughs> "You little, you're so he, beautiful." Thank you. He noticed like literally everything. He was just like, "You're allergic to lilies, first of all," or like, "You like you don't like." Over- Shocks him in the back, <laughs> and you dated the man scent. for six months, and he doesn't know you're allergic to lilies. He was so mad. He was like, "Okay, you dated this person for." I was just like, "Oh," and he doesn't well, know he like the they, most they were basic still in a thing about you. That's true. He thought, so yeah, he didn't realize they were broken up. But then, yeah, like there were a lot of little times where he would basically say something or someone would be like, you want to go for a milkshake? She don't like milkshakes. She don't like milkshakes. I know. That was that was at at the uh, hockey game. I was like, he pays attention. (gasps) Oh, and the red dress. That was the other thing where she was. (laughs) She was like, I'm trying to get my revenge, but it backfired. (laughs) And then she realized that like he after he had protected her from Treyer, like, kind of helped out in that situation, that he wasn't out to, like, nobody would gun for your job and, like, try to help you out in that particular way. Um, and so it was just really cute. And I was just like, take off. Take off your coat. And just, I love that he couldn't even They were so close, too. I was like, so was like, too. I was like come on. <laughs> so close. Um, is this my current read pile? No, it's not. It's Julie and Lindsay books. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this one um, is another book, After Hours Temptation. I just haven't put it away yet. And then, yeah, these are Julianne Lindsay books. I stacked them up like this because I had a live stream where I was trying to show the book. And I stacked, so I stacked it up because if you get rid of the comment, it kind of like kind of hides it. So if I sat the book down here, you wouldn't be able to see it all of it. So I stacked it up. Yeah. But um, yeah, those are Julianne Lindsay books. Julianne Lindsay has taken two shelves on one of my bookshelves. I'm like, can slow down. Yeah. <laughs> now, Wait, you, did. you better, it's like, you better, you better, you put your, you know, seatbelt on. She's going to rev exactly. back up there in the new year. It's like, she gave you this, this year. She basically gave us off. Like she only had, I don't know how I many know. releases this year. I think she like, only five. had five. Yeah. Five. Yeah. So the, year before, like, the year previous though, she had like 12. I was like, yeah, she had 12. Sleep? When do you sleep? When? Never. She's like a vampire. I don't have like, yeah, like, your responsibilities <laughs> and I feel like I'm, she has a lot more planned in the coming year and it's we're with as much as she's been writing and like secret projects and finishing yeah. manuscripts and everything i'm just like we're gonna have so much that she's we're just releasing like next year we're not gonna be able to keep up with her. no exactly it's gonna be like just the year of julie and Lindsay books which again. is fine <laughs> which is fine i know again <laughs> i have no problems with that <laughs> which is fine so um this is our last i said this in the beginning this is our last last live stream of this year our next live stream is going to be the 2002 2002 2022 yeah. bookish academy oh. awards on january 4th um it's a wednesday um 
I know we kind of, if when we do it, we kind of do it like um, on a Saturday, but um, we're just going to keep it on Wednesday and have this one to be, want to be one of our lives because I'm lazy. <laughs> and you're pregnant sure. and you don't have a ton of extra time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're growing a human being. So um, if you want to take a screenshot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, thank you everybody so much who is in the comments right now. Thank you everybody who's watching on the replay. Thank you so much for my lovely, lovely co-host with the co-most. <laughs> oh no. Is this going to be a brand <laughs> secret project with that? No, absolutely oh, no. not. <laughs> oh, a friend bought that for me. So I'm, I'm expecting it in January. They bought it for me for my and birthday. we'll try to figure out our next few books and then post. But I'm, yeah, we'll be I'm gonna attempt to the try and Insta and the figure Twitter. some things out, yeah, so that we can keep the channel going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so exactly. nervous to take over in any way, shape. Or I, I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> I, I don't mind at all. Like, <laughs> honestly, if you want me to take over, or me, like me and Jen go off, or me and you step channels to not make your stuff up, either or is fine with me. I don't care. Yeah, I'm just preparing just, for the worst. I could have more time on my hands than I realized, but I was like, I, this is my first baby. Oh, I don't the, know how my life is going to be. the first couple months, you're not going to be able to function. Yeah, no, you're going to need to get to normal. I'm just going to be like, <laughs> that's why I'm just like, it's, I'm not like, I'm not, this isn't like goodbye forever. This is just a goodbye for now. Like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm literally going to be like, I'm planning on taking a, a solid six months off of like literally everything. I mean, not my I'm job. I'm sure you'll be in comments I have other people's <laughs> lives. <laughs> you'll um, pop in on the comments. You'll yeah, just be I'm sitting sure there being like, I didn't read it, but hi. I'm here <laughs> to support. And I'll be like, I'm sorry. I didn't say anything about the book. I failed to do a synopsis. Yeah, when you started this live and you're like, well, this is what this is about. And I'm like, I don't do that. I barely <laughs> remember anybody. Like, you're lucky I remember these people. <laughs> Well, I forgot that one girl's name, but you reminded me. So we work as a team here. We work as yeah. a team. <laughs> All right. All right, Alicia, everybody. Me and you. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We got this. Oh, you got it. You got it. It's bad. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. We'll figure it out. Um, all right, everybody. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye.